Should you buy an iPhone 16 or the iPhone 15 Pro for 2024? Let's start with the cameras. Now iPhone 16 features dual camera modules, a 48 megapixel main module and a 12 megapixel ultra wide module with autofocus that can be used for macro mode photos. Now iPhone 16 by default shoots at 24 megapixel from the main module to reduce artificial over sharpening and increase more natural details. Now iPhone 16 can also shoot full 48 megapixel JPEG photos for even more details. Plus iPhone 16 comes with sensor shift state stabilization for stable videos. Now going from iPhone 11, 12, 13 or 14, you will be able to see a good camera upgrade. Now this is the front facing 4K 30 handheld video quality from the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 16. Now going from iPhone 11 to 16 comes with some really welcome hardware improvements in both selfie module and main module and ultra wide module. For instance, both iPhone 11 and iPhone 16 come with a 12 megapixel selfie module, but iPhone 16 comes with the autofocus in this camera module and the sensor size is bigger. That basically means when I get close enough to the selfie lens, background is blurrier on the iPhone 16 compared to iPhone 11. But iPhone 15 Pro is just even better in terms of cameras. To start with, iPhone 15 Pro features a 3x zoom module for pro portrait mode photos. And portrait mode photos just look so so good with the zoom modules. Plus iPhone 15 Pro features a 48 megapixel sensor that is bigger in size plus it comes with 28 and 35mm lossless optical zooms. Plus iPhone 15 Pro can shoot full 48 megapixel Pro RAW files and those Pro RAW files are better in terms of details, dynamic range, colors and sharpness compared to the 48 megapixel JPEGs on the iPhone 16. Plus iPhone 15 Pro also comes with 4K ProRes log videos. ProRes log videos on iPhone 15 Pro removes the artificial over sharpening and overdone HDR of iPhone videos. ProRes videos also provide you with more coloring option, more natural details and more realistic dynamic range processing. Now, in short the camera on the iPhone 16 is good for most consumers but the camera on the iPhone 15 Pro is even better for pros. Now moving on to the displays. Now iPhone 16 and iPhone 15 Pro feature a same same but different display. Now both feature a 6.1 inches full HD plus OLED display with 2000 hertz of peak brightness but the display on the iPhone 15 Pro comes with thinner bezels, ProMotion refresh rate and always on display. Overall the display on the iPhone 15 Pro is better than iPhone 16. Now moving on to the performance of both iPhones. Performance in in terms of benchmarks may look the same or slightly in favor of iPhone 15 Pro but the ProMotion refresh rate on iPhone 15 Pro takes the performance to another level. iPhone 15 Pro is quicker, snappier, faster, more responsive with silkier and smoother animation. iPhone 15 Pro flies in terms of user experience whereas iPhone 16 runs in terms of user experience. For me, if I have to buy one smartphone, I will always go with the iPhone 15 Pro for ProMotion, ProRes, ProRaw, Pro Portrait Mode, Pro Type-C Port. iPhone 15 Pro also comes with Pro Grade Titanium Design. And iPhone 15 Pro is just better when you can get iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro for the same price. 